NASA is having a moment. The US space agency teamed with Elon Musk's SpaceX in May to launch its first manned rocket from American soil in nearly a decade. And adorning that rocket was NASA's iconic, worm, logo, a throwback look that NASA announced a month earlier it was bringing out of retirement, causing space fans across the country to collectively geek out. The worm added a touch of 1980s nostalgia to the launch with SpaceX that already had NASA followers buzzing about the future of American space exploration. And, the excitement over both served as just the latest reminder that NASA is back. After all, in 2011, NASA shut down its storied but costly space shuttle program, the one that launched the Hubble Space Telescope and carried pieces of the International Space Station into orbit, prompting concerns that NASA was in decline, and whether the U had a future in space at all. But in May, over 150,000 people braved the ongoing coronavirus pandemic to gather near NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida to watch the first attempt at a launch, which ended up being postponed due to weather, and over 10 million concurrent viewers watched the final launch a few days later online. We're at the dawn of a new age, and we're really leading the beginning of a space revolution, James Moorhard, NASA's deputy administrator, told reporters ahead of the launch. Headlines declared that the successful launch heralded an exciting, new era of human spaceflight. So nearly a decade after the shuttle program shut down and NASA's future appeared to be, well, up in the air, it now seems fair to ask the question, is NASA cool again? NASA's always cool. Always, insists retired NASA astronaut Scott Kelly, who retired in 2016 after two decades in which he flew four space missions and spent 520 days in space, including a 340-day stretch, a NASA record, in 2015. It's like the greatest brand ever, Kelly tells CNBC Make It. I travel around the world. You see that NASA meatball everywhere. Everyone knows NASA's brand. NASA's Meatball logo, which was designed in 1959, used until the introduction of the Worm in 1975 and then brought out of retirement in 1992, features a blue circle of stars encapsulating red and white swooshes and block Y lettering. But that doesn't mean that the general public's interest in, and excitement about, NASA and space exploration has not fluctuated over the decades. It's hard to imagine NASA's place in pop culture ever matching the space agency's golden age of the Apollo program of the 1960s and 70s, which turned astronauts into superstars and landed the first humans on the moon, an event watched by an estimated 600 million people around the world in 1969. Indisputably, NASA was at its height of popularity during the Apollo moon program. That's when every TV in America was tuned to those launches, says Andrew Sloan, founder of Cosmoschema, a branding and design agency dedicated to the space industry, 